Wait. No. This isn't the end. I know there's still much more. Somehow this went wrong. Okay, let's try something else. Well, that sucked. Okay, so this is our only option. So this... This has to have something. Because everything has been used. So this point in time has to have something. Luca began to respond, but the sky answered for him as the clouds above began to rumble with ominous thunder. You sure... You sure we can make it home before the storm kicks off? Luca surveyed the roiling clouds. I'd say the odds are good. Maybe you should stay here and I'll just make a break for it. At that moment, the heavens opened up, unleashing torrential rain. <sighs> Care to recalculate those odds? Hurry oh, attack you two before you catch a cold! <laughs> I'm Mario! What? You have an oh, so okay, so it is pretty big. Look, Canelli with keep trying to reach your gran on the phone. In the meantime, you two hold tight. Oh, oh, cool. Sorry, not much to do up here. Most of my stuff is still in boxes. Yeah, mind if I poke around? Be my guest. I am your guest, you dumb bitch. Alright. What's that? Luca squinted into the eye hole of the microscope. Huh! <gasps> this looks wild! What is it? Gum? Gum? Luca adjusted the slide with his fingers to get a better look. I'm tracking the structural integrity of gum with increasing amounts of chewing. Chew that one for 47 days. Ew. Luca wiped his hand off on his sweater and gave a nervous laugh. Uh, <laughs> it, it's weird, I know. Beck looked down, timidly tapping the ladder with her feet. Y you think it's weird, don't you? Uh, a little. But weird can be cool. Oh wow! Oro and I have a radio just like this at the treehouse. Probably not exactly like this one. My mom and I tore the whole thing down to the bolts. Fitted it with some state-of-the-art vacuum tubes. Hmm, she seems pretty awesome. She gets carried away sometimes. I think she feels guilty for working too much. Though when she does have time for me, she show showers me with high tech overcompensation. Luca flicked at one of the toggles. <clears throat> oh, we can get all sorts of stations on this. Uh, not here in the boonies. You wouldn't believe the stuff I could pick up back in the city. But around here, it's all farm reports and static. Ah, oh, shucks. That sucks. Luca flowers! To examine the bouquet of wilting flowers. Judging by the odor, they were well past their prime. Yeah. Why pungent? Okay, that's a new one. He flipped open the attached card. Happy trails from Coach Walker and all the Fairview Condors. Condors. Boy, you weren't kidding about poking around, huh? They're literally out in the open. Oh, sorry. Was this from your old school? The most recent one, yeah. Some schools gave me going away cards. Some did flowers. When they're really trying to feel good about themselves, they do both. So, you've moved a lot. Yeah, that's the thing with having a brilliant parent. There's always a better job somewhere else. Y'all are really fucking up this girl's life, but I understand why. These flowers would last longer if you put them in some water. Uh, that's the sort of thing I would do if I cared. 
I hope you cared enough to keep them all. Eat them is all. Luca, can I ask you something? Of course! What would you like to ask? Detective Cyclone Luca! <laughs> Stupid fucking name. What the fu- Holy shit. You fucking poser! Dang, didn't that hurt? Uh, I'll be honest. That hurt more than I expected. <laughs> well, at least you looked cool doing it. Beck took a moment to watch the rivulets of water running down the window. Do you ever feel alone? Like, even when people are around? <laughs> Preach the choir on that one! Now, well, Rolo can be pretty absent minded sometimes. I'm serious. Does it ever feel like your family doesn't care what you want? Again! Preach the cry on that one! <laughs> <laughs> um, it used to feel that way. I know Gran loves me, but. Eh, Sometimes when she looks at me, it's like she's looking at a problem. Luca took a deep breath, exhaling slowly. <sighs> I know the feeling. How do you deal with that? <sighs> Guess I haven't yet. But one thing my dad told me when I was little. Don't hold a grudge, especially against your save. You try to hold it all in, you're gonna pop. Do you sound like that too? Fuck yeah! So then what do you do? When you don't know what to do? Dad never got to that part. Something I figured out on my own though. You gotta do something, anything. Here. What are you doing? I don't know, something. We're gonna register our complaints with the storm. Listen here, you miserable universe! Stop jerking me around! The universe sings to me! Hey man, it's going on in Overwatch a lot, so in other words, it's fucking great right now. I just want things to go back to the way they were! What is that melody? <laughs> I love Overwatch. I just want things to go back to the way they were! Everyone tells me it's gonna be alright! Things are gonna change! Every time something changes, everything gets worse! That's not wrong. <laughs> Screw this towel! Whoa. Let me try. Moving sucks! I hate it! I hate it! I hate that I hate it! Why can't I just deal with it and be happy for my mom? Why can't we just stay somewhere? Her voice dropped to a trembling whisper. I just want to be a normal kid. Beck brushed off her shirt and straightened up. Yeah, I'll admit, I, 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 it was hard for me to do that with that type of tone of voice. I never yell at a tone of voice. There. Wow. I actually feel a little better. As abruptly as it began, the storm abated. Thanks. I, I needed that. Eh, me too. I should head out before the rain starts up again. Sure, I'll walk you out. See you around, and see you and Lolo at the festival? Sounds good. Look up. Don't let the universe jerk you around. He's five no, I'm Beck gave Luca a light thump on the arm before heading in. Aw, sweet. Chapter five. Friendly feud. Aww. The air was heavy with a hard rain's residue. The smell of wet things. Despite his dreary surroundings, Luca felt at peace. He'd never shared those details about his dad with anyone, not even Rolo. 
But it's not like this changed anything. Rolo was still his best friend. Or was he? Back to the group would help balance things out. Everything's better in threes. Again, true. This is what Luca told himself as he headed to the treehouse. All right. Whoa. Hey, Don, tracking down a lead. You bet. I heard a doozy do Ruba. Her dad with Dorper Van Dyke died. He left behind a peculiar glass will and testament. Peculiar? How? Uh, he didn't give his kid the inheritance. There were conditions. Like what? Uh, the document stipulated that Harris had to take on a child as a ward. A kid our age who did throw it up and down one night with a lawyer. Solomon. Bingo! So, Eris was forced to take care of him? Yep! Or he would have lost everything. Why would Sharper care so much about some random kid? Luma has it! Old Sharper sold some wild oats! Sowed? Some wild? Well, I don't get what that means. That explains the way Eris treats him. Poor Solomon. How did you find all this out? Good boys never reveals these doors to Luca. He met his old friend's eyes and was greeted with nothing but ice cold anger. Heavens! This is no time for fractured friendships. What's it called? Excuse me, what are you doing? I'm just locking up for the night, sir. How wonderful! I can only assume this means all the festival preparations have been completed ahead of schedule. <laughs> I'm not exactly, sir. The storm set us back a bit, and it's getting late, so we all decided to... You all... Decided? <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, sir. I was unaware that your job involved deciding things. <laughs> We're all here at Brunel Harvest because we believe in creating a better future. Yes? Uh, yes, sir. Very much, sir. Do you want to be the one to tell this town that we failed them? No, sir. That we gave up because there was a little rainstorm and we all got sleepy? Uh, of course not, sir. Good! That is the sign. Uh, yes, sir, we'll work till the task is done. Say that, do you do? Uh, uh, harvest away, sir. <laughs> oh, fuck! Okay, hold on, actually, let me see. Let's see if I can get some more fishies! Come on, come on, come on. Any. Aha, there is! Luca wrapped a twig of thyme around the hook. Some fish have refined taste. Ooh, clock. Property of Sharper Valentine. Mm, figures. We had this two-way property of Sharper Valentine would be written on everything in this town. Can we give it back to him? Might not even want it back. Man's got continued con contentious relationships of time. We'll keep it here in case he ever wants to pick it up. Alright, seems legit. Alright, well that's it for that one. Oh no! You still up there? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lolo isn't accepting visitors at that moment. Come back never! Luca had only ever heard him speak in this stiff yet gentle tone a few times. What happened? And it always meant one thing. You upset. Oh, what makes you say that? Maybe because my best friend abandoned me for no reason? I didn't abandon you. I was just a little late. Rollo scoffed. <laughs> the rain held me up! Liar! 
You weren't even home. What? The storm got bad and I got worried. So I went looking for you. Imagine my surprise when I made it to your house and you weren't there. Look, I hadn't made it back yet. I'm not a fool, Luca. It doesn't take all day to deliver some jam. No, I... Look, the storm, that storm rolled in out of nowhere. And I got stuck after dinner at Beck's and... Luca stumbled on his words, uh, knowing he'd said too much. Beck? Dinner? Oh. What? The heck is our Beck? Look, she's the new kid in town. She's actually kind of cool. You'd like her. She needed help convincing her parents that she'd made new friends. New friends? I spent all day waiting for you. And you were off making new friends? Oh my god. It's not like that at all. God. You know, while I was waiting, I made some upgrades to Mission Control. I was gonna, it was gonna be a surprise, but you took so long, the storm knocked it all down. Just like you knocked down our friendship. Oh my God. What does that even mean? Luca became instinctively angry in response. Both boys were now shouting across the distance. It means you're a bad friend! You don't care about me! Of course I care, you ass! I knew I'd get in trouble waiting so late for you! But I kept my word! Cause that's what friends do! Oh wow, what a noble sacrifice you made! Easy for you to say! Your grand doesn't even care! You can stay out as long as you want! And you wouldn't even get in trouble! Seriously? You're acting like a ch choice. You're acting like I chose this shit. If that's what you think, then maybe you're the bad friend. Changed to a calm yet more intense anger. Maybe Pa is right. Storms bring more than water. This one brought out the real Luca. My God, stop quoting your Pa's nonsense like it means anything. Yeah, well, at least my paw is still around. Oh, shit! Shit's getting fucking deep, dude. My god, dude. The words hung in the cold night air. Lola's stomach dropped, knowing he'd crossed a line. But it was too late. L Luca, I... Good night, Rolo. Dang it. You didn't need to be an ass, dude. You legit did not need to be an ass. What did I do? Luca dug through his old stuff, not even sure what he was looking for. What the fuck? Golo? What a jerk! Gah. Call me a bad friend. Gah. I'm... Ooh, I'm Rolo. Look at me and my amazing family. Gah. Be a soccer player by the end of this day. Fuck, fine. Guess I'm just never supposed to make new friends. <laughs> 